Hello guys, this is Shivam and you are watching Analytics Mantra and in this tutorial we will see how can we use, how we can use the, the dplyr package and dplyr package is a very important package and it is an improvement of plyr package and it is basically used for the faster data manipulation in R and and why do we use dplyr? So it is basically used for data exploration and transformations and it is very intuitive to write and easy to read the codes are very specific and makes your task very easier so and it is it is quite fast on data frames and uh, the basic functions which we can perform with the help of deep layer package package are filter select arrange mutate and summarize so these are the five basic functions that we can perform with the help of deep layer package so in this tutorial we will be learning how we can implement the deep layer package and first of all we will be loading the data set and load the data set and uh, and we will also load the deep layer package and uh, i will also tell you how to install that deep layer package so we will be so to install the uh, deep layer package what you need to do is you can use the install load package command and let us now use the install dot package command and inside you provide the package name dplyr and i will also use the hc flights h flight data set in this tutorial so we will also install the h flights data set h flights data set now since i have already installed it so i will not run these commands and so when you have installed these packages you need to load these packages like library dplyr and and library h flights h flights okay let us now try to run these commands and now we will try to explore the data set that how it looks like explore explore the data so we can use the command data hf flights to because it is already a package and contains this data set so we can use the data h flights h flights and h flights and we can also get the head or the the few entries of the data set using the head command and h f lights okay so now we will try to see the data we have loaded the data set into the environment and now we will see some of the few rows and columns of this data so now here you can see that these are the variables or columns and these are the entries and uh, you can see that different columns and rows are there and you can also so do now you can convert this uh, this data into an into a tabular data frame and we will be working on that data frame using the dplyr package so let us now go ahead and convert it to a local data frame so convert it into local data frame so to convert it into data frame we will be using the 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 command like flights let me first assign the variable and we will be using the command table data frame that is tbl and it is the dplyr package with the help of dplyr package you can see and it just require the following arguments and so we will be using this command table data frame and we will be providing the h flights data to it and we have created a data frame flights so so now we can directly view the h 
lights not lights you can bash lights so when you try to run the command view it will show you all the entries and it's taking the time but you can run this command view and it will show you different entries in a very interactive manner and you can see here that these are the variables and these are the entries and the variables are year month day of month day of week departure time and other variables so this is the way to to view the data frame and next we will be next in order to see the the first 20 the first 20 observations we can also do this, this thing with the help of print command print flights comma n is equal to let's say 30 so here you can see that we have extracted the 30 entries with the help of this function print function directly on the data frame and next we will implement so now we will be using the filter function and uh, filter function actually is used to extract data to extract some rows and columns from a data frame and we will be using this filter function so filter and first of all it needs the the data set that you want to apply the filter function on and now we want to extract the flights that which moved on the first of january so we will be giving the arguments like uh, where month month is equal to one and uh, the day of month day of month is equal to one so first of january we want to extract the flights that moved on first of january so let us now run this command and so these are the flights that moved on the first of january and you can see that the month is one the day of month is one and this is showing the day of week and the departure time and the and the arrival time and you can also use the or operator in your in your filter function you can also use the pipeline operator so then let us now use one more uh, pipeline operator in this so we want to now extract the the flights the the, the carrier flights that uh, in which the unique carriers were double a and u so let us now use this by using the field pipeline function so filter flights comma and unique carrier and we want to say that the unique carrier unique carrier and to pipeline function is percentage in percentage and in, we want to say that unique carrier is either it is uh, by defining a vector and is either double a or it's either ua so we will we have used the pipeline operator so and we want to filter these flights which having the unique carrier either double a or ua so let us now run this command and you can see that these are the values and the year was this the month was this the day of month was this and these are the day of week departure time and arrival time and there are also this much number of rows and, it, and that much number of variable so this is the way of using filter function now we'll be using the select function to use the select function you just uh, you just use it select define it select first of all provide it with the data set that you want to apply it and then you want to say that i want to select three columns from my data set like i want to select the departure time departure time arrival time and the flight number so departure time depth time which is depth time in this case depth time comma arrival time arrival time arrival time so so let, let us say that uh, we want to select the the two columns from this data set and we want to select the departure time and the arrival time of all of these flights so let us now run this command and you can see that uh, we have extracted the only the departure time and only the arrival time from this whole of this data set and there are 227 and 486 more rows ahead so this is the way to use the select function and next we will be using the the arrange function arrange function is 
used to reorder the rows or used to reorder the data set so we will be using the arrange function now arrange and arrange function so first of all let us use the pipeline operator in this case of flights and we will be using the pipeline operator so percentage percentage so and now we will be selecting we want to select the unique carrier and the departure delay and we will be arranging arranging that extraction using the arrange function so first of all let us select the two columns the unique carrier and departure delay so select unique carrier comma depth uh, delay depth delay and and let us now define let us now use again the pipeline operator and and i want to arrange this uh, extraction this fill this selection using the arrange function and so arrange and i want to arrange it by the departure delay you know, providing the tab delay tab delay and let us now run this command and we have we will be arranging these flights on the pay on the basis of departure delay and we have selected only two columns so let us now run this command and you can see that we have extracted two columns unique carrier and departure delay you can see this and we have just arranged these according to the departure delay so here you can see that these are decreasing on the basis of delay so these are arranged so this is the use of arrange function and this is the, the the first function we have used over here the filter function and then the select function and then the arrange function now we will be using the mutate function of t player package mutate function is used to add some new variables or to manipulate the the variables or and uh, so mutate function is also very necessary so let us now use the mutate function and we will be also again using the the pipeline operators and so let us now use this flights flights and flights and i want to select two columns like i want to select the distance and air time and i want to uh, i want to calculate the speed and i want to add this as a another column or another variable in my data set so i will be first of all selecting to select select distance distance comma air time air time and then again pipeline operator and i want to mutate the i want to create and i want to create another variable called speed and speed will be is equal to speed is equal, will be is equal to distance divided by air time air time so so i have i in this on in this command in this code i use the select function and the mutate function and i want to calculate the speed and we'll be adding it as another variable so let us now run this command and here you can see that it is the distance we extracted the two columns out of the data set the distance and the air time and we have just mutated and we have just created one another column speed and that is is equal to the speed distance divided by the air time so this is the way we use the mutate function and one more function is it left like we have discussed previously like group by function or summarize function so we will be using the summarize function summarize function is used to reduce the variables and when you want to group the variables and when when you want to group the entries and when we want to see the average values or when we want to summarize the data set so so we will be using the summarize function so let us now go ahead and use it so flights and uh, the pipeline operator average and now we will be group the for the all of these data set all of these flights on the basis of the destination so group by group by and the test test and and i want to summarize 
I have used the group by function and now I'll be using the summarize function and I want to summarize summarize the average delay average delay I want to get the average delay and I have want to group these all by the destination and I want to get the average delay which will be the mean of a arrival delay of all of these grouped destinations so I will be getting the average delay average delay is equal to mean mean and mean and I will be getting the mean of arrival delay arrival delay and let us now also remove the NA values because our data set also contains some uh, NAN values or not uh, number values or not available values so let us now provide this argument that NA dot remove NA dot RM is equal to true so so let us now group this and get the summarized result of all of these destinations and here you can see that I have extracted the the destination and these are the destination all of these destination with 106 more rows and this is the average delay of all of these destinations so this is the way to use the group by function and summarize function and we we use the deep layer package and we see how to use so we used the five basic functions of deep layer package we learned how to use those five function we use the filter function we use the select function we use the the arrange function and then we use the mutate function and then we use the group by and summarize function so these are the these are the basic uh, data manipulation examples of deep layer package and deep layer package is highly used and widely used for data manipulation and it is one of the, the best package to to mung with your data and it is highly used so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you don't if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe and thanks for watching